uh, for this page, past papers like to test the student's knowledge on these two bullet points here and these two bullet points here. So as for these two bullet points, you just need to have the understanding to help you understand what you're memorizing here and here. And finally, these two bullet points here on the higher tier material section. So the six bullet points here and some background understanding. So let's go through some exam questions to see how they're going to test you on this stuff. So zooming in, the question reads, look at the diagram. It shows the electrolysis of dilute sulfuric acid. So as shown on the negative electrode, hydrogen is being produced and on a positive electrode, a gas A is produced. So the question is saying that hydrogen is made at the negative electrode, gas A is made at the positive electrode. What is the name of gas A? So for one mark, with the aid of the revision guide, we know if cathode, which is the negative electrode, produces hydrogen ions and the anode, which is the positive electrode, this can be seen from the battery, produces oxygen gas. So for the one mark, the answer for gas A is oxygen gas. At the negative electrode, hydrogen ions H plus gain electrons to make hydrogen molecules H2. Write down the balance symbol equation for this reaction. So use E minus to represent an electron. For two marks, they're looking for the symbol equation and the balancing of the symbol equation for the second mark. So write down the balance symbol equation. Two marks. So with the aid of the revision guide, they're basically being asked you to recall this here, where 2H plus plus 2E minus equals H2. So they could have asked you the other way around and asked you to regurgitate this instead. So it's very important to memorize both of these. Uh, this next question is talking about the extraction of aluminum, basically the electrolysis of aluminum and not the electrolysis of sulfuric acid that we just looked at. So zooming in, uh, this question is about the extraction of aluminum. Look at the diagram. It shows how aluminum is extracted using electrolysis. So this diagram you should realize that is basically a simplified version of uh, this here. So we're turning back to the exam question. So complete the table to show what is made at the two electrodes. So we are told that at the positive electrode, the anode, oxygen is being produced. So we want to know what's happening at the negative electrode. So for one mark, you're being asked to regurgitate your knowledge from here. If we zoom in, we are told that the positive charged aluminum ions move towards the negative electrode and form aluminum. And the negatively charged oxygen ions move towards the positive electrodes and form oxygen. Basically, negative electrode form aluminum, positive electrode form oxygen. We're told that it's oxygen. And we want to know what's happening at the negative electrode. And the answer for the one mark is aluminum. So carrying on with the questions, the anodes are made of carbon. They are gradually worn away. Explain why. So for one mark, we need to understand what's actually happening at the anode to explain why it's gradually being worn away. So with the aid of the revision guide, we can see that at the anode, oxidation is happening. And as we know from oil rig, oxidation is loss and reduction is gain. So this loss of electrons is actually what's causing the wearing away of the anode. So the model answer for the one mark is basically the anode is being attacked by the oxygen or the anode is undergoing oxidation. So the next question, the extraction of aluminum is expensive. Suggest why? Well, this is pretty much common sense. Um, electrolysis basically uses electricity and electricity doesn't really come cheap. As mentioned here, However, the extraction still uses large amounts of electricity, which makes aluminum an expensive metal. Basically, the electricity is not cheap. It uses large amounts of electricity. So carrying on, um, at the anode, oxide ions O2 minus lose electrons. Oxygen gas O2 is made. Write a balance symbol equation for this reaction. Use E minus to represent an electron. So for two marks, you need to show a balance symbol equation. One mark for the balancing and one mark for the symbol equation. So they're basically asking you to regurgitate this here as it is 2 o2 minus produces o2 plus 4 e minus very important they could have asked you about this instead so it's very important to memorize both of these this here this here these two and this and of course uh, just a general understanding that when a diagram like this comes up you know they're talking about extraction of aluminum so let's go on to the next question so here we have another extraction of aluminum question so we and let's begin aluminum is extracted from its mineral using electricity look at the diagram it shows the equipment that is used, so similar diagram that we've already seen. So molten aluminum oxide is broken down by electrolysis into aluminum and oxygen. So write down the word equation for the electrolysis of aluminum oxide. So for one mark, they're basically asking you to recall this here, where aluminum oxide produces aluminum oxygen. So write this as it is in the space provided in the exam question for the one mark. So the next question, every few days the graphite anodes have to be replaced. Explain why the graphite anodes need to be replaced. In your answer, describe what happens to the graphite anodes and explain why it happens. 
So for two marks, it's a similar question to what we've already seen. Start off by recalling this here. So you say at the anode, this is what happens. And you would then go on to explain that the anodes are oxidizing. And this is oxidation is a loss of electrons. The oxygen is basically attacking the anodes. So after recalling the half equation, which is a potential one mark, you would then go on to explain that um, the anodes are oxidizing. And oxidation is the loss of electrons. So that's enough to get the two marks. So let's carry on with some more extraction of aluminium questions. At the cathode, an aluminium ion Al3 plus gains electrons to make an aluminium atom, Al. So write down the ionic equation for this reaction. Use E minus to represent an electron. So for one mark, they're basically asking you to recall down here, if we zoom in, at the cathode, um, Al3 plus plus 3E minus produces Al. So basically recall this as it is. So in the question, the clue is given where it says at the cathodes, and that's where the clue is. So the question could have said at the anode and then called this instead. So basically read the questions carefully to look for the clues. So the exam question then continues. The extraction of aluminum from aluminum oxide is very expensive. Explain why. We know this already. Basically it uses a large amount of electricity and electricity is not cheap. And just to confirm, down here, However, the extraction still uses large amounts of electricity, which makes aluminum an expensive metal. Next question, creolite is added to the aluminum oxide. Why does using creolite reduce the cost of making aluminum? So for one mark, basically, where it says here, during extraction, aluminum oxide is mixed with creolite to lower its melting point. This reduces the energy needed for the process. So by mentioning lowering of the melting point to reduce the amount of energy needed for the process is enough to get you the one mark, giving a total of three marks in a very short period of time. This next question is kind of tricky because it uses content that is actually not in the revision guide, but the principles that it's testing on is actually the same. So we'll go through the question to see what I mean. Sophie investigates passing an electric current through sodium chloride solution. Now the thing is, when it comes to electrolysis in the revision guide, it only talks about sulfuric acid or extraction of aluminium. It has no mention of sodium chloride solution. So this may put off some students who read this, but carry on reading the question before you actually get put off by the wording. At the end of the day, they're always gonna test similar areas, but they may word it differently to try to bring the best out of the student. So the question continues, the diagram shows the apparatus she uses as shown. So the negative electro produces hydrogen, positive electro produces chlorine gas. So look at the list. It shows the particles in a sodium chloride solution. So Sophie finds that the solution conducts electricity. Explain how a solution of sodium chloride conducts electricity. So for one mark, the question is basically asking how does any solution conduct electricity? And it doesn't matter if it's sodium chloride or potassium chloride or sulfuric acid. It's because the ions are free to move. And that's enough for the one mark. So carrying on, sodium atoms Na lose electrons to make sodium ions Na+. How many electrons does each sodium atom lose? So for one mark, um, this is basically revision. We know that to get from Na to Na+, plus, because it's only 1+, plus, it's just lost one electron, had it said 2+, plus, but not for Na. If, let's say, they get a different example, like Mg2+, plus, you know, it would be two loss of electrons. So again, they're talking about sodium chloride solution and the electrolysis of it, but the questions that they're asking, it's testing other areas that is mentioned in the revision guide. So in this case, the answer is just one electron. And finally, at the cathode, hydrogen ions, H+, plus, gains electrons to make hydrogen gas, H2. So write down the equation for the electrode reaction. Use E- minus to show an electron. So for the two marks, they're basically looking for a balance symbol equation showing what's happening at the cathode to make the hydrogen gas. So basically, they're asking you to recall this half equation here. So just reproduce this as it is to get the two marks.